Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. So today we got some news of a 3060 Ti and we have the expected price of the card, the expected performance of the card and also a possible release date. So today I want to answer the question, should you buy a 3060 Ti and who is this card actually for? But before I do that, uh, I want to say that this is not a review video, so if you're watching this a couple of weeks later, uh, just know that there are no reviews out there right now of the 3060Ti. Uh, it's not out yet and none of the reviewers have it, so there are no concrete numbers. So the best we're going to uh, the best that we actually can do is uh, look at some older cards and see what the expected performance of this might actually be. And Nvidia has actually already come out and said that uh, this 3060 Ti is going to be likely a 2080 Super level of performance. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at some 2080 Super numbers and then decide whether you should go and uh, buy a 3060 Ti. Now, if you find this video helpful, uh, make sure to click that like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the video cards news and uh, we're going to just um, dissect the information there and then we're going to come back and uh, look at some tech power up review numbers for the 2080 Super and then we'll answer the question whether you should buy it or not. So a couple of weeks ago, there was a leak for the 3060 Ti and the leak was about some Saudi retailers getting their hands on the 3060 Ti, um, but there wasn't all that much more information about the card at the time. And now um, we have a leak slide, which is uh, an official slide from NVIDIA. Video Cards has written an article about it and Video Cards writes, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is officially faster than the RTX 2080 Super. And it goes on to say, NVIDIA expects that the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti will be 1.4 times faster than an RTX 2060 Super. And the slide uh, with the performance numbers was actually tested with a 1440p resolution using Intel Core i9-10900K. Now it goes on to say that um, the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 2080 Super will be very similar. They both feature 8GB of G6 memory, but the Turing uh, model will be a little bit faster with 15.5 gigabits per second modules and the RTX 3060 Ti will be 14 gigabits per second. Okay, so it also goes on to say that the graphics card will also be a lot cheaper, expected to be about 400 USD. It also says that the RTX 3060 Ti uh, will beat the 2080 Super in all scenarios, even in ray tracing, even though it has less ray tracing cores than the RTX 2080 Super. And that's because each core is uh, much faster than the previous Turing uh, ray tracing core. So if we take a look at this chart that was leaked from NVIDIA, it shows that in rasterization performance, there's four games here and it beats the 2080 Super in all of these games. In ray tracing, it's neck and neck with Watch Dogs Legion, but in the other games, uh, you should expect ray tracing to be faster than the 2080 Super. So I think overall, I think that um, you're probably better off with a 3060 Ti than a 2080 Super. If we take a quick look at the specs of the 3060 Ti, it has 4,864 CUDA cores, so this is probably a 20% difference between the 3060 Ti and the 3070. And you can see here the shader performance is 16.2 teraflops versus 20.3 teraflops, which is about 20% difference. It still has 8 gigabytes of G6, and it's going to be about 20% cheaper. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the 3070 Tech Power Up review. And in that review, they're going to have all of the 2080 Super numbers for all of the latest games. So then we're going to be able to find out whether this card is a 1440p 60 frames per second card or whether it can do a higher refresh rate. And uh, I've decided that a higher refresh rate in this case is any game that can do more than 100 frames per second. So if we take a look at the tech power up review for the 3070, the 2080 Super actually sits 14% below the 3070 and we know that it's probably going to be a little bit faster than that uh, 2080 Super. So I think you could be expecting around 12% maybe 
even 10% less performance than the 3070 for 20% less price. So that seems like a good deal. And of course, the 3080 is a class above. So it's at 123%. So it's about, I guess, 37% difference to the 2080 Super. Now what we want to do is we want to take a look at gaming performance and we're just going to take a look at the first one uh, which is Assassin's Creed Odyssey because that's going to be a very performance intensive game. So we can see here for 1440p the 2080 Super performance is 64 frames per second but if you were to buy a 3070 you'd get 74 frames per second. 3080 is a different class which is 93 frames per second. So I've summarized the games into whether they perform less than 100 frames per second and over 100 frames per second. Now I know this is a bit of an arbitrary line, so technically you could draw this line wherever you want if you want to uh, have it over 144 or 120 frames per second. Uh, you can do that yourself, but roughly I think 100 frames per second is a reasonable guy because I do feel like there's a bit of a difference when you're playing at 60 and 100 a little bit less of a difference when you're playing at 100 to 144. You're kind of like overpaying for that 144 hertz experience. So um, I've just gone with 100 frames per second. Now here, as you can see, um, a lot of the newer games, so like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, a lot of the more performance intensive games are going to be less than 100 frames per second. So if you have a 1440p monitor and you want to do 144 FPS, then you are probably better off getting a 3080. Now one thing I do want to talk about is uh, what it costs for somebody who wants to buy a brand new PC with a 3060 Ti and what that overall cost is going to be like. And as you can see here, if I have a i7 10700K with a 3060 Ti build, um, I've got a substitute 2060 in there, but just pretend that's a 3060 Ti. Uh, it's going to cost around $1,400. If you're considering whether you should get an Xbox Series X or a, say, a 3060 Ti build, then you really can't make up that $900 difference between a console and a PC. So what have we learned from all of this? Well, I think we should answer that question from the start of the video, which was, should you buy a 3060 Ti? And I think if you're a 1440p gamer who's gaming at 60 FPS for AAA games, then yeah, I think this uh, car would be good for the next two or three years. And then maybe possibly later on, you could upgrade with the next generation. But I think if you're looking for 1440p, 100 FPS, then I think you're better off going with a 3080 level of card. So whether that's the 3080 or the 6800 XT, that's going to give you a little bit more longevity. Uh, you're going to be able to play games at 1440p, 100 FPS now. Maybe in the next generation, you'll be stepping that down to 1440, 60 FPS. But overall, you're going to get that premium experience uh, right now with that 3080. And I think if you're looking at a lower tier level of card, say if you're looking at the recently rumored uh, 3060 12 gigabytes, um, I don't actually think uh, the 12 gigabytes is all that worth it because uh, if you're going to be getting a 3060, you probably want to upgrade that sooner rather than later. So the 12 gigabytes might just end up being uh, wasted. And also similarly with the 3060 is six gigabytes. Well, I think if you can find a 2070 Super uh, on discount, uh, that has eight gigabytes of memory. So that's gonna be uh, very useful, that extra two gigabytes. But overall, I think the 3060 Ti uh, specifically targets the type of gamer, the 1440p 60 FPS gamer. So if you're that type of gamer, then uh, definitely look at that card. Okay, so that's it for this one. Make sure to click on the like button if you like this video and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.